was uh, heart-wrenching uh, to see that much water in our neighborhoods. LaFleur County and Holmes County have formed a long-term recovery committee to assess damages, contact contractors, and to purchase the material needed to repair homes nearly destroyed by flooding. I had never seen water up to those levels, and so that was just a real heart-wrenching uh, event, and, and, and my heart did then and still goes out to those who were severely affected. Around 170 people were impacted by the rain and flooding. The EMA director for the county says the water level was a hard pill to swallow. As the EMA director and as a citizen of LaFleur County, as emergency responder for LaFleur County, it was very devastating uh, to go around and get up and wake up 1 o'clock in the morning, see the streets flooded. Um, it was a hard hit. Disbursements are in $50,000 lots and have a limit of $250,000. And the county is in the process of receiving the first disbursement. But officials say changes won't happen overnight. We got to get the contractors out to look at the homes and see how, how long, how much it would take. But the material wise, the case management has begun. Uh, we better get the material case by case. Uh, as soon as the case management and long-term recovery committee approve it.